In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Milio payments to send and receive payments as a business. So I'll go over exactly how you can set it up and exactly how you can use it to its full capability. So I'll show you how you can use it in the free plan, but they also offer a 14 day free trial to one of their paid plans. So you can also use those features for free for 14 days. Now, if you would like to get started for free, you can just click on the link in the description which will get you to their website right here. From here, just go and click start now, and then the registration process is very simple. So I like to just continue with Google, but what you could also do is to sign in with Intuit, which is very easy if you're using QuickBooks Online, because then you will be automatically integrating with your QuickBooks Online account. Now, I don't use QuickBooks Online, so therefore for me, I'll just sign in with Google. So then you will get to their onboarding. So first you want to go and pick if you are a business, which means that you want to pay vendor invoices and get paid by customers. Or if you are an accounting firm, which means you want to manage clients, accounts payable and accounts receivable and streamline team workflows. I'll go with business and click continue, but many of the features are similar. Then here enter your first and last name, your date of birth and your mobile number. Then here, tell them about your company, starting with your name, which is your DBA name. So how you're doing business, then click continue, then enter your company address right here. And if you have multiple addresses, they can add those as well, but I'll just click continue. And then here, which industry does your company operate in? Then click continue. Then what is your company's estimated monthly bill payment volume? So how much would you like to pay using Milio? Now, for example, I'll go up to 10K and then continue. And then where it says, welcome to Milio, just going to click on get started and that will take you to the actual app. So from here, we can actually start using Milio. So you can just start your free 30 day trial. So it's actually a 30 day trial, not 14. So if you also want to get that 30 day free trial, you can sign up through the link in the description and you can get it for both the core and boost plan. Now, often I wouldn't recommend getting the boost plan. I would go with the free plan, which is the go plan or the core plan, kind of depending on what you need. So for example, if you send more than five ACH transfers per month, then the core plan can definitely be worth it since this extra amount of free ACH transfers is already going to save you about $10. Then you also get unlimited two-way automatic syncs with QuickBooks Online or Xero. You can batch pay multiple bills at once combine payments into one transaction and there's a few more features for example if you make use of approval workflows a lot or if you need to do w9 form collection and 1099 e-filing then the core plan can definitely be worth it so that's 21 dollars and 25 cents plus 10 dollars per month per additional user and the go plan gets you only one user so also if you need multiple users you may want to consider the core plan now I'll just start with their free go plan right here so then you will see this. So you can see, first of all, you can add your first vendor. So start by selecting from the suggestion below or add your own. So I'll just click add my own right here. And then here you can add your vendor business name, vendor contact name, etc. Now you can market as a 1099 contractor. So if it's a contractor and you want to market as such, then just click on it right there. And then you can actually request a W9 from the vendor. But for this, you will need the premium plan or you can upload it if you already have it. Now let's say that this is not a contractor, then you can just enter the vendor business name and any other details that you may want to enter and then click continue. And now you have created this new vendor, then how would this vendor like to receive payments? So how do you want to send money to them? That can be bank transfer. And again, you can get five of those for free in the free plan. Then you can pick paper check or not sure. And then you can let the vendor choose. Now, if it's international, you can do a USD transfer or a foreign currency transfer. But for example, I'll go with bank transfer. Then here, enter the vendor's routing number and the account number. And then once you have added that, you can then enter the bill details. So if you want to create a bill for them right now, then you can just do that. And you can also make it recurring right here. So monthly, twice a month, or even yearly if you'd like to. So let's say that this is a monthly bill. And let's say I want the first one to be next Monday, which in this case is the 11th of November. And then the recurring payment duration. 
let's say I want to set an end date for May of next year. Then I can just enter that right there. Then the last payment amount, let's say $100, and the bill amount is also $100. Then you can add an invoice number, and you can add a note to yourself, and only you will be able to see that. So then you can click continue to pay, and then here you can choose how you want to pay. So even if the person wants to receive money through a bank transfer, you can still choose to pay with card. So you pay with card and then they can receive through bank or through a check. Now, for example, I'll just go with card right here, although you can save some fees by going with a bank transfer. Now here, just enter your card details. Now you only have to do this once and then it will be linked to your Medio account. And from there, you can then just use it every single time. So after setting up a vendor, you can simply create a new payment right there and you can see your open balance with that vendor. To add more vendors, just click add vendor and you can also choose to just click new payment in the top right and then here pick which vendor it's for. So that's the vendor section. Now you can also go to the bill section where you can see all of your bills and you can create a bill through here and import bills. Then you can set up an approval workflow. Now to do that, just click manage approval workflows right there. And that's going to take you to your settings. Then you can click add workflow. Now for this, you will need to be on the premium plan, but they will let you try it out right here. But to add an approval workflow, you will need to have different users. So for that in the settings, just go to users and roles. And then here click add user, or you can add an accounting firm if you'd like. And then here you can just go and invite them. But again, for this, you will need to upgrade to the core plan. So those are the main features if you want to pay through Milio. However, there is a whole other side, which is to get paid. So if you click on get paid in the left right here, you will then get to this section where you can actually start getting paid. So right here, just click start getting paid and then you can create your own URL. So this will just be your company name and location and then click continue. They can upload a logo or an image. You can add your legal details. So also your EIN. Then choose your business type. So is it a standalone business, part of a larger organization, or are you not sure? Now part of a larger organization could include a chain or a franchise, or maybe it's owned by a holding company, something like that. I'll just go standalone business and click continue. Now from here, you can then connect your bank account. So choose how to verify and connect a bank account. And the recommended way is to connect instantly by logging in and connecting your bank to request, track and receive incoming payments. You can also choose to verify with deposits, but this is going to take one to two business days. So for example, I'll click connect instantly. And then you can see Medio uses Plaid to connect your account. So just click continue right there. Then enter your phone number or continue as a guest. And here pick the bank you use. Now you can see they have over 12,000 different institutions. So most likely your bank will be in here. For example, I'll just pick Chase and then here just click continue to log in and then it's going to take you to your bank's website. Then just sign into your business bank account and then it will automatically connect to your Medio account. So that's all there is to it. And basically once you have done that, you will then have a link where people can actually pay you for a certain amount. So that's the link that you picked at the beginning right here. So then you can also request payments and share the link with people that you want to get paid by. And then those people can just pick their payment method and basically really easily pay you. Now in the customer section, you can also add your customers and then you can send payment requests to those customers. So just click add customer and then here enter their company name. And you can add all of this, which will make it easier to send the actual payment request, or you can just send them a custom link. Now in these settings right here, which is the final thing I want to go over, as I mentioned earlier, you can actually go to invite your team members. Although for that, you will again need to use one of their paid plans. So if you decide that you want to upgrade to one of those paid plans, then under payments and billing, you can just click plans right here. Then here you will be able to see your current plan, which for me is Medio Go. And you can just go and set up your payment method that you want to use to pay for the actual plan. So you can use a bank account or credit card. So just set this up if you'd like to. And then from here, click upgrade plan. And then you can go and upgrade to the core plan or boost plan. Now I should mention that if you start your 30 day free trial right away, 
instead of starting with the free plan, then I think you will get an extra 15% off on their monthly plans, and it will be about $22.50 instead of $25. So you can actually see that right here on the website, it's going to be $21.25. So you can actually save 15% if you start with one of their paid plans immediately instead of starting with their free plan. So over the long term, that could save you quite a lot of money. Now again, if you just want to get started with Milio's free plan or even get started with a 30 day free trial, then you can just click on the link down in the description to get started. If this Milio payments tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. So you now know how you can pay vendors using Milio and by the method that you want to use and that they want to receive it in. And you know how you can get paid using Milio, which are its main features. So if this tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.